good kitten internet. I have just finished eating. <clears throat> just had a lazadia, as I'm trying to call it. Uh, it's a <clears throat> tortilla with a slice of cheese, some pre-cooked chicken, and some pre-diced onions. And uh, microwave to melt the cheese, and then I dip it in some salsa. It's a really quick thing that I can do, and it's something that I'm not concerned about. I can do that type of thing generally even in heavily depressed states. In this case, I'm still not quite trusting myself to full-on hook, and also the fact that I don't have all that much in the house that's easy to prepare. Besides, I needed to use up the uh, tortillas anyway. Out of curiosity, does the timer actually go off while I'm doing this? So 7.41 before? Yes, it does. That is a difference between Wild Arms 1 and Wild Arms 2. So now you know it's taking me about 20 minutes to eat. I also have another liter of water that I'm mostly way through already. Uh, yep. So also, we missed some things back here. I don't even know if I knew about these. It's just... It, I was reading ahead, oops, did not mean to actually go through there. I was reading ahead a little bit in the low-level guide, and it mentioned that there's actually very useful things in here. Namely that there's a secret door that you can only sort of see. Like I said, I don't know if I knew about this place. Secret room three. Well, I don't think I have the other ones. Ooh, a crest. And two crests. And a scapegoat. Nice. Alright. Um, let's see. I am here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Anything else that I need to worry about in here? Oh, um, I should equip Ashley's other things. No, I do have them equipped. Okay. I still need to cure Lilka of her uh, memory issues. There we go. Um, accidentally lost my spot. Okay, got those things. What else is in here? Ooh, library. The two seas. Two seas exist in Philgaia, the inland sea and the outer sea. This is the same as Wild Arms 1. This is because Philgaia is circular in shape. Not a sphere, circular in shape. Pretty sure that's supposed to be spherical. The inland sea is enclosed by land, joined to the outer sea by a shoal. As its name implies, the outer sea encircles the land. Part of the Great Sea is rendered impassable by the Gate Bridge. This results in the creation of a second sea. The world as we see it is uh, see about us is not the only one that exists. It is but one dimension of many. The world is not singular. There are other worlds which exist parallel to our own. Like, for instance, Wild Arms 1. Golgotha Prison. At present, Illsvale Prison is in operation, so Golgotha, the Sylvanland Prison, is closed. Since it is no longer being used, Golgotha Prison is now in effect left abandoned. Since prison is still rife with dangerous traps, some say that it should be used to train troops. Those for and uh, those opposed to the plan have yet to come to... have yet as... the plan have as yet come to no conclusions. Blah, blah, blah. The kingdom of Silvaland has long been ruled by its queen, with the king only lending assistance. This is because Silvaland boasts a history of utilizing its natural heritage for bountiful food. They call the earth Mother, so it is only natural for their ruler to be female as well. Therefore, Silvaland's system of government evolved into a matriarchy. The kingdom of Silvaland is divided into three districts. The first is the home district, where Silvaland Castle is located, and contains farmland. The other two are far away, so the live reflectors serve as transport. 
That's why Silverland is so spread out, is that they have teleporters. One of these is the large island of Holst, which contains productive mines. The other is located in a volcanic region, so it remains unpopulated, part of Silverland in name only. There it is, the fall of Sleheim. I was like, I only got five books. After the Sleheim Liberation War, the country itself perished. Since militarism called, caused Sleheim's fall, people thought the danger of war perished along with Sleheim. Yeah, because that made sense. In its place, though, Guild Galad began to manufacture weapons of mass destructive capability. It was only natural for other nations to become weary of Guild Galad and its activities. Fearing that the new weapons would be turned on them, other nations watched Guild Galad very closely. That looks suspicious, doesn't it? The bookcase is starting to move. We'll get to that in a moment. Excavation Country, the Desert Region. Northwest of Silverland lies a huge desert where the Kingdom of Sleheim used to be. Have you figured things out yet as to what happened to Sleheim? A civilization possessing highly advanced technology used to exist there, the legends say. Supporting this legend are many weapons excavated from the area utilizing lost technology. However, international agreement now forbids further excavation and regulates the already excavated items. Silverland Castle is a beautiful castle surrounded by bountiful nature. The country is blessed with fertile farmland and has a productive agricultural industry. It's also known as Filgaya's Kitchen for its food exports. People are known for their deep connection to the earth and their warm hearts. Hence why they're kind of codified as elves. But there are no elves. There are Elu, though. You see a book entitled The Days of Peace. The people of Silverland possess an abiding desire for peace, so peace has long been maintained. Because of this, most knights in the military have never seen actual combat. Since they believe so strongly in peace, many Silverlanders question the necess uh, necessity of the knights. Even if the knights are symbolic only, that itself is t a testament to Silverland's abiding peace. Yeah, these bookshelves are not quite accurate on location. Live reflectors are transporters built with lost technology. Although they are used regularly, the principles on which they operate are not understood today. Therefore, no more live reflectors can be built. Since there is a toll taken on the body of the user, first-time users often experience some discomfort. At present, much, much research into this problem and into the underlying technology is being conducted. And that bookshelf doesn't exist, apparently. But, let's go down. Here's the second secret room, apparently. A hazel sprig. A silver harp. A blue anklet. And a clear chime. It's all of the status removal things. Also, a bookshelf. The power of technology. By analyzing fossilized remains, Guild Galad developed many industrial goods for export. These industrial goods have gone a long way toward improving people's lifestyles. But these technologies have also been used for weapons of war. These, the technologies can be used for more efficient killing or for improving people's lives. Which occurs is entirely dependent on the user's will. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Once more, I'm not giving any spoilers. That sounded like an insect rather than a bully, but whatever. So we found the second secret room. And the third, so there's got to be another one around here somewhere, right? Maybe it's actually in here. Oh, so sleepy. These all nighters get to you. Please don't surprise me like that. I'll be looking out to make sure there are no more false alarms. I wonder where secret room one is. 
Hmm, let me go take a look at my achievements really fast. Because I might have already gotten it and just not realize it. Log in. Uh, maybe I should actually put a link in the description to the achievements. That would probably make sense. Um... My pages. Achievements. Yep, I already got it. It was in under traffic. Got it. Okay. Cool. So let's skedaddle. The moose. Mosey. Whatever you want to call it. That was back to the secret room. And that's back to the entrance. Derp. <sighs> How are you today? And the reason why there's no kitty up above is that there's a sleeping kitty on top of my UPS. Pretty flowers. I'm still made by Easy Tree Style, which is not great. That's that style that only shows, uh, that only has like a cross type of thing of textures. Are all of you arms? What about the other two? Oh well, don't worry about those Odessa fellows, as our knights will slaughter them. Yep, very peaceful. Okay, it was far to the west, if I remember correctly. That would be west. I don't think it's to the west. Maybe east? Oh yeah, and also, you notice that there was no item shop, there was no inn, nothing. This looks suspicious, as does the random battle. Launch. Buried alive. That's got to be a magic deck. Can you even hurt me? Pawn. Paunch. Unfortunately, once more, Loka's the only one that, or Brad's the only one that's getting XP right now, because I need to find some way of curing that status effect. Uh, that looks suspiciously accurate. Nope. That is instead ammo. Maybe here? Nope. Probably that bright spot. No, it wasn't. There it is. We are safe stating because this is where things get very freaking dangerous right now. Actually... I need to remove that status effect, because otherwise I'm going to not gain any XP, and that's not good. Let's go ahead and teleport back to Maria. Glitchy. Very glitchy. Hmm, should I angle the camera down a little bit more? I mean, I know I'm going to be asking this significantly before, um... Or, I'm asking this, like, two days... There's going to be another video recorded. There we go. All right, um, curing forgetfulness is not something that this place can do. Cool. I teleported to the wrong spot. 
Yep, and as I remembered, you have to go outside. Demzen would have it, though. Let's go back to our Wild West roots. Also, let's reload ammo before I forget again. Items, regular ordinary items. Yeah, you're Gunner's Heaven. You're the Gallows Pole. I think your items? Yes. Uh, there it is. Let's start by getting ourselves five of each of the status removal items. That's what I like doing. And then one more toy hammer because I'm going to use it immediately. Oh, also a teleport gem. And another. Okay. Reorganize. Commonly used items. Toy hammer. Lilka. There we go. Leave here. Mm, this is going to be the video that I need to do a... Uh, Whatchamacallit, uh, May. There we go. Teleport back to Silver Lamb Castle. Yeah, this is going to be a video that I should probably have a content warning on, isn't it? At least that's what my memory is telling me. Find out if my memory is accurate. I'm really low level for this, aren't I? Well, here goes everything. Let's go to helmets. And let me pour some myself. The less, rest of my second liter of water. It's a pretty town. This is the town, right? One that was attacked by Odessa? Uh, it's hard to believe that information was incorrect, though. Okay, everyone, let's break up and start searching helmets. Hmm. It's quiet, but something seems wrong. Well, what'd you find? Personally, this town's a little boring for me. There's no one here. It's a ghost town. Because apparently that wasn't really freaking obvious. What's even more strange are all the signs of life. People were here so recently that some of the food still won't. There's less of it now. Yes, I would like to feed you, kitty. There might be somebody. I will be right back. I'm going to feed a kitty. All right, I am back. Uh, forgot to mention, I voted today, technically. Um, I'll explain more in a bit. Watch out, it's a trap! Well, that was a church. <laughs> Whenever I have this much fun, my glasses start falling down. Odessa! Indeed, I am a member of Caucus. Uh, I really need to figure out how to pronounce that. Hold on, let me Google this. Apparently, it's Cocytus. Anyway, that's um a river in Hades. It's a tributary of the uh, um the Acheron. Um, it's Greek, which is why I'm terrible at pronouncing it. <laughs> anyway, as we were doing, 
I'm a member of Kokaitis, Odissa's special forces team. You don't need to know that, though. Hmm. Come down like from there and face us like a man. Not a pretty little girl, are you? Can I grant your wish? If I were to fight you myself, I might accidentally kill you. Trask! I leave it to you. Ah, poisonous Armored Dragonoid Trask. This is not an easy battle in general. Uh, we actually need to change our gear around a little bit. There we go. We need some status prevention. Ponch. Oh, there's a crystal. Um, Do I hit the crystal first? Yes, okay. Punk. 100 damage. Doesn't have much defense. Poison breath. <laughs> and it missed. Cool. This is why we have freeze. Because it is weak against ice, I believe. That doesn't show up very well. But it does a lot of damage. Paunch. Freeze. Funk. Up, oh, shattered the crystal. Seeing achievements for a PS1 game is so weird. Poison Breath. <laughs> At least all it's doing is Poison Breath, because Trask has a lot more powerful attacks. Bazooka. And I believe you are still weak against ice. Zuka. Punch. Uh, that's not too bad. I have crying cats because of course I do. At least you all can't hear that. Dung Kitty's the one out and about now, but I don't know if he's going to be here or not. Counterattack. And nobody's hit again. So far, the counterattack and one normal attack is all that Trask has actually done to me. I remember this battle being a lot harder. Maybe I just didn't have freeze. I mean, I had three characters. I would have expected this to be... Notice that it has not dissolved or anything. Trask is a specially designed anti-personnel weapon beast. None of your techniques will have any effect on it. Ignore the fact that you've done crap tons of damage to it. Well, enough chit chat for now. It's time for you all to take a little nap. Watch out, everyone! Something's coming! Nighty night. And let it end. Like this. I can hear it from inside myself. You must take the power now before it is too late. It is too late. No, I won't let it be. Ah! <laughs> What's this? This wasn't in my plans. Trask was blown away, and only with one blast from that light. Didn't imagine they could damage Trask. Still, it looks like I can... St but still, it looks like I can still capture them as originally planned. 
that light could have gotten me as well. I feel like I should be wearing my glasses. I actually haven't put on my glasses today. Didn't feel like it. Welcome to Golgotha Prison. Ugh. Are you conscious now? Ugh. I don't feel well. I think I'm gonna puke. What in the world happened? I don't know. After I was attacked by Trask, I couldn't move my body. Then, through a hazy consciousness, I saw everything turn white. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was locked here. So it's a prison. Darn, these things always... Things like this always happen to me. Why me? Wine, wine, wine. Let her stay like that for a bit. It'll help her body recover. Wilka? <sighs> I'm here. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. But... Uh, did something happen? No, no, it's nothing. That's right. Ashley is Ashley. Ashley is not anything else. I wonder what happened to me. For example, maybe for a minute I thought Ashley was you. As in the big sis. Ugh, but more importantly, how long are we going to be staying like this? We gotta do something, right? Of course. Let's start by thinking about how to escape from here. All right. Yeah, okay. Some strange contraption is keeping the door closed. Boot to the head! Nope. Boot? There's a switch right there. Oh, this doesn't look right. Notice how this is slightly off? Let's kick it in place. And that didn't do anything. The tilt is fixed now. It looks like it could be moved. You can move parts of blocks and stone images by pressing and holding the direction keys. <laughs> Did former prisoners do this? We can escape through this hole. Push. Bonk. There we go. Now we get to explore a prison. Oh joy. Loot! Lucky card. Uh, thus begins our constant references for me forgetting to use lucky cards. Although I think that's the second lucky card that we have. Okay, nothing else in this room. Doesn't sound like there's anything in this room. Let's open the door. Standard puzzle stuff. Oh, so the voting thing. Um, so, first off, I live in the United States, and there's a bit of an important election coming up to kick out the Orange Menace. Um, and I live in the city of Madison, Wisconsin, which 
I like to joke around saying that the pastime of Madison is voting. Um, voting is serious business. Those things look creepy. Um... And first off, they highly recommend that everybody just submit for an absentee ballot, which for those outside the United States, an absentee ballot is basically a, for some reason I can't come to the polls, mail me a ballot and I will mail it back. Unfortunately, um, the Trump administration started trying to dismantle the United States Postal Service in order to reduce the amount of mail-in ballots possible. Either one by virtue of them not arriving on time, because the ballots have to arrive by Election Day, which is the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November, or two by reducing confidence in the electoral system. It's brutal here. Um, in response to that, the city of Madison actually set up a program to allow you to drop off your ballot at various locations throughout the city, those locations being every single city park. For reference, there are two city parks within a block of me. Both of them have a drop-off location, as do the parks two blocks from me and three blocks from me and so on. All of them have a drop-off. All of them have people on duty specifically with the idea of they will accept your ballots. I don't think I can... Okay, I can just walk. That's a heel berry. Okay, yeah, I do have to run. That's what I thought. Not hearing any bleeps. Hmm. Ah, damn it. Anyway, so I dropped off my ballot today, is what it is. Um, the sticker came with my ballot. That's right, I can do diagonals because this is a 3D game. Not even there yet. Come on. Ah. There's a reason why I prefer 2D games, by the way. Because I don't have to deal with stupid camera angle problems or having to pivot in multiple dimensions for no reason. All right. hearing anything. Really? Uh, we're hitting hit with more random battles than normal by virtue of the fact that uh, Ashley is level 3. That will eventually go away, but it's going to take a while. have fire and I'm assuming that's probably what they're weak against. Just use spark. Zap. I mean it worked. So it's punching in the face. That's why I said really by the way. It's the fact that because of the random battle, I was going to get hit by that thing. Right. Safe point. Always a good sign. Yeah, this might actually be the hardest battle in the game coming up because of the fact that I'm doing a little full run. <laughs> I didn't even see what it said. I was surprised! Oh no! Stun cloud. Well, it's a good thing that Loka is immune to paralysis right now. Light burn! Hmm. 
Zap. Pineapple. Didn't feel like fighting them. I acquired two pinwheels. I'm betting that light burn does confusion. Cool. Anyway, all I was trying to do was read what that actually says. Here, let me... Oh, I can't read it anymore. Well, uh, I guess we're just going to have to look at the um, video for it. Treasure. That's probably the correct route. Yep. Cool. Ah, texture issues. Uh -huh. Just because it happened twice doesn't mean it will, there'll be a third. Launch. One damage. And I'm not the correct level. I'm going to scan the next one just so I can see what level they are, because I should be at roughly the same level as the enemies, if I remember right. Oh, derp. Kick. Kick. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Ashley, you're only here for the booty call. Let's be honest here. The candlestick light will open closed doors. This is a very strange prison, if I do say so myself. I don't quite understand the point of it. All right, we actually do want to collect these now. Because we want people healed. It's a painting of a ladder. Good job, game. But hey, look at this. Why should all the villagers get arrested and follow them here? But I'm at my limit. Behind that door, the villagers are imprisoned. The lever is hard to move, but you guys can manage. Help save everyone. You have to constantly hit the button to open it. Yeah, this doesn't look like a trap at all. These people are... We are the residents of the village of Helmets. You all are... We're not a part of Odessa. That's the important part. We're fighting to save everyone from the tyranny of the terrorists. We all might be saved? Will we get a chance to return the Helmets together? Take heart. I promise everyone will have a safe rescue. This guy with the glasses suddenly pulled a weapon on us. After that, we were shoved into this dungeon and locked up. So, because you're able to help us, can we believe that you're really, that you're real allies? Of course, so relax. We'll return your village with all of you. Or return to your village with all of you. Uh, but traveling in a group this large could be dangerous. After all, it's above the three-character party limit. Then I'll go ahead and check things out. Once safe patches are verified, you all can leave together. That's right. We just have Ashley. Ashley needs to be fully healed. I am save stating because this is going to suck. But... Still have more of the dungeon. Okay. Oh, I have to not get hit. Okay. Yep, I am wasting healing. I'm going to end up wasting healing, but that's fine. Okay, it's just I can't get hit by those at all. I was expecting it to be the speed trap type things like before.
Oh, yeah. No treasure, okay. At least I can see the terrain on the ground. Pretty sure I had problems with that before. Alright. That's a trap. What's in here? Our preparations for the execution point should be about ready, right? I don't trust that guy, even though he's on our side. It's safer if you don't talk so carelessly about Mr. Judica. Judica. Plotting something again? Yep, we can't go through there. Alright. It's time for the hardest battle we are going to see in a very, very long time. We are using a level 3 Ashley. For reference, this battle is normally a curb stomp battle. And you will see why. But we have to be very careful to make sure that Ashley stays with the forgetfulness status which means that Ashley cannot allow his force points to reach 100. This is very important, because otherwise Ashley will level like five or six times. <laughs> we don't want that. Did I save state? I at least save stated close enough to the current time. Hmm, welcome to the execution ground. Yep, this is absolutely the point that I... I'm going to have to edit this video to have the content warning at the front, because I know this is something that's going to bother some people. Mm, you finally made it here. I've been waiting. But I wasn't the only one waiting for you. This... Yup. You wanted your party crucified, right? Yeah. Milka, Brad! Sorry. Villagers just helped him were taken as human shields. They said resist and they're dead. This was a trick. He plotted all of this. Hang on, I'm on my way. Uh, where are you going? That's not your duty. <clears throat> what? Your opponent is Little Trask. This is the one from before. Mm, don't think about resisting. I'll kill your little buddies if you do. But the preparations aren't finished yet. Mm, you mean it's a warning? Yep. The plan got a little messed up, but there's a reason I captured you arms people. By executing all of you publicly, I can rid myself of enemies and also show the terror of Odessa. We didn't kill the people of Helmets when we caught them, so they'd witness the event. How evil can you be? Uh, it's something a very vain terrorist would do. I, even I'd prefer to take care of it myself, but we have our reasons. I'd appreciate your understanding on this. Go, Trask, but don't kill them too quickly. Yeah. Ashley! Resist and I'll kill the hostages. Oh, this is so thrilling. My glasses are about to fall off. I have no control right now for reference. So, yep. What is it? What are you doing? This voice is echoing again. What is this? Don't think. Hesitation is only for fools. What you need now is hope and desire. That's it. I want power. I want enough power to overcome any adversity. I have that. 
take a hold of it. Of what? Oneself. It's light. It's from that time. Change of plans. Get the sausages. They're gone. It reached even Lady Consort's child. You can't do as you please. Hmm. I wonder what that phrase is actually supposed to mean. So that doesn't quite sound right. But it's our friend Maryville again. It's that same light. This is the end. Light of the start. I believe it. This is a translation issue. I know what she's trying to say, and I'm not going to explain it because it's a spoiler. Because remember, everything Maryville says is very important, and you're not supposed to understand it. So I'm not explaining things. That time I was late. This light is nostalgic. Right, Ashley? Uh, again? Something didn't... I didn't plan on... Can't keep up. Oh, time to run. Remember that? Welcome to Mighty Morphing Power, Ashley. Welcome to Lord Blazer. This is from that time. It's happened to me. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But I do know one, one thing I do know is... I know I can fight. This pain and form are mine. It's the power to fight. Welcome to what is normally an utter curb stomp battle. However, Ashley is level three and we can't allow force ups to increase. Also, notice that Ashley no longer has any guns. This is the true form of Mighty Morphing Power, Ashley. This is force level four of what Ashley can do. So unlike Wild Arms 1, they actually give you Ashley's force level four really early on in the game. Like he doesn't have any of the other force level abilities yet. Oh, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't be hitting the crystal. Damn it. I forgot. I assume I shouldn't be hitting the crystal at least. All right. So normally he has two abilities. He has Hot Fencer, which is a Knight's Disintegrator Blade. It's a single target attack. And Banisher, which is an all area of effect attack, which we are going to be using right now. And we're dead. No, really, we're dead. That is a one-shot kill. So what we have to do is not get hit by that without defending. Do you see what I mean by this is going to be the hardest battle of the game now? I'm going to fast forward through the cutscenes and I will save state at the start of the fight. Unfortunately, this is not a short sequence, so it's going to take a bit. I should have saved state it earlier. This is one of two battles that I know of that are going to be a royal pain in the posterior to fight because we're having to rely on luck to actually have things work. Doo, 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 doo. This is why I would normally not do a low level challenge for here, except I really want to use the other characters. So the image that um, Ashley was, um, we actually saw that right at the end of the protoblazer section where um, Ashley had taken a hold of the Argat Lam and had briefly turned into Night Blazer, then back to Ashley. So that's the kind of hint as something's not quite right. There's more to it, though. All right, that should be a good enough save state. I also really like the Night Blazer music, by the way. Okay. So the reason why I save stated before the 
battle started is because I don't know if it will re-randomize. So they recommend defending. is not below that hit point level. We're basically defending until Ashley hits 50 force points. In a normal battle, I would be using Hot Fencer like mad, but Hot Fencer will just kill Ashley right now because Ashley can't take hits very well because he's level three. Yeah. So we're defending until Ashley gets enough force points, basically. And Ashley is, in fact, immune to poison. That's the reason why he has that equipped. Stop poison breathing, damn it. I'm not trying to run. Biomissile. All right, that will definitely force point up. All right, we need him to... Basically, he has to use... Um... Whatchamacallit, um... I'm pretty sure Ashley's dead again. Yep. All right. Huh, which apparently that counts as getting the achievement. Whoops. So yeah, it's a very specific set of things that I need to have happen. Okay, it does re-randomize, good. There's the bio-missile. Okay. Banish, please just use like a poison. <sighs> Patience. Patience is not a virtue I have time for. So the ideal situation is that when I defend the first time, it uses bio missile. Because then I should have barely enough hit points to be able to take a hit. There we go. Bio missile. Actually, no, I can't take a hit. I have to poison. Nope. Punch in the face. I'm dead. This is obnoxious. <sighs> Out of curiosity, did I actually have any other apples? No. Okay. The other situation would be that I just get punched until I have enough. Okay, I'm dead next turn. I'm dead anyway. Nope. Let's try that again. Oh, we're already at 53 minutes. I expect this to take for freaking ever. Not a fan of this be so much easier if I could just set everybody's levels to level 1, but I can't figure out how to do that. At level 1 when they join. I don't mind having to level people up. What I mind is this. Uh. Poison Breath is what I want you to use after Banisher, damn it. Okay. Yep, oh, I'm paralyzed. I'm dead. This is one of the two battles that I was warned about. And this is normally a curb stomp. This is normally an extremely easy battle. Okay. You need to use your poison thing. Please just use your poison thing. Nope. I mean, I really like the outfit now that I'm able to see clearly what Night Blazer looks like. It looks really cool. I just want you to use Poison Breath after I hit 50 FP. That's it. That's all I want you to do. Do 
two bio missiles in a row I can't do anything about. I mean, bio missile is a one shot for me. And keep in mind, um, Night Blazer form actually has higher defense than Ashley. This is so painful. There's the bio missile. And I'm paralyzed. So the reason why I have to have the Moonstone equipped rather than the Blue Circlet, which prevents paralysis, is that um, I'm dead if I get hit by that no matter what. Whereas the poison, uh, as long as I'm not affected by poison, the attack itself doesn't do anything. To And I'm poisoned again. Or paralyzed again. What the hell? I'm going to pause the recording after this attempt until I actually succeed. Oh, no. I actually need to edit this recording anyway. And I'm paralyzed again. <sighs> Yep, I'm pausing this. Actually, no, I'm not going to pause it because I'm going to have to edit this video anyway. Hopefully my editor won't puke on this video like it did the last time. Okay, biomissile. I'm paralyzed again. Can I equip the blue circlet anyway? No, because it's currently equipped on Lilka. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now, can I actually survive long enough? So, Banisher. This is what Banisher looks like. It's that yellow light by the way. It does a lot of damage. 500 damage doesn't seem like a lot. Oh yeah, and using Banisher reverts my form. It doesn't seem like a lot, except for the fact that I'm level 3 doing 500 damage. You'll notice my force points actually remain. So what I need to do now is, one, save state. I can always reload from the save state. Two, accelerator heal myself. I have to kill them before I hit 100 FP. So I'm going to be Accelerator healing myself a lot. Hope I have enough heal berries. And basically, I need to do that until they use Poison Breath. Because Poison Breath doesn't do anything to me, which is why I have the Moonstone equipped. There we go. Alright. Full HP. And... Accelerator. Don't need Accelerator. Shot weapon Trask. Get punched in the face. I can survive a punch in the face. One. I missed. God damn it. Accelerator. Heal Barry Ashley. I'm gonna deprive all of Phil Guy of every single heal Barry, aren't I? Get punched in the face again. I'm a little concerned that I'm going to hit 100 force points. Should have accelerated before. Poison Breath. Okay. I am going to accelerate this time because I don't want to hit Accelerator. Shot Weapon. Trask. Please just die. I don't know how many hit points Trask has, but I just want you to get hit. 
Okay, I hit that time. I'm getting punched in the face. Which means it's time for accelerator healing. Not shot weapon. How many hit points does Trask have anyway? 3,600. Poop. Bio missile, I'm dead. See? All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Accelerator. Heal berry. Time to see how the random mist works. So I don't know how the random seed works in this game as to whether I'm even going to get a different seed or not. Biomissile, I'm dead. Okay, I at least got a different seed. So that's good to know that I am getting different seeds. So I don't have to worry about undoing my save state. That's good to know. This is still an obnoxious battle. What the hell? Please, just use poison spray. Uh. I am really close to hitting FP 100. That's not good. Poison breath, okay. Not spray, breath, excuse me. Accelerator shot weapon Trask. This is going to take forever if he has 3,600 HP. And Biomissile, I'm dead. Poison breath, okay. Do I save state here? Yeah. Accelerator. Shot weapon trask. Bio missile, I'm dead. Now, are you going to consistently do that? So I can undo save state. I know I can. I've done it before. Looks like it. Accelerator, shot weapon, Trask. Aha! I can manipulate you. That is good to know. I wonder if I can manipulate Trask to constantly use Poison Breath. That would be interesting. Punch. Accelerator, Heal Blary. Heal Blary? Heal Blary. Missile, I'm dead. I missed. I'm not letting it miss happen.
because I am genuinely wondering if I even have enough ammo to do this. I have two bullet loads. Should have increased his... Okay, poison breath. That's a good situation. Save state. I should have increased his shot weapon significantly higher just so I can do more damage and get through this faster. The guide suggested twice. Poison breath again. Awesome. Biomissile, I'm dead. Punch. Got weapon. He'll bury self. Punch. Bury self. Punch. <sighs> He'll bury self. This battle's gonna take forever. Final missile, I'm dead. Poison breath, sweet. You. Poison breath, awesome. Let's do more poison breath. Save state. Trask. Biomissile, I'm dead. Trask. Punch in the face. That's fine. Probably. Accelerate. Heal bury self. I've not kept track of how many hit points. I probably should. Because at some point it might just be worth accelerator smite in the face so I don't have to deal with this anymore. Problems with a low level run. Bio missile, I'm dead. Punch in the face. Shot weapon. Accelerator heal berry. Bio missile, I'm dead. Poison breath, awesome. Yeah, you can see when I'm save stating for reference. I'm save stating whenever there's been a poison breath. So I want these types of chains because it's gonna be the best way for me to actually win. Save state again. Chop weapon trask. Yes, please. Assuming it's not dead on this attack, which I don't think it will be. Okay, that means I have to use a bullet load on Ashley's shot weapon. Trask punches me in the face. I forgot to save state that time. That's unfortunate for me. Because now I might lose one of my poison spray things. Right. He'll bury self. Buy a missile. Yep. Okay. At least I can save state after this one. Shot weapon. Save state. Use bullet load on Ashley's shot weapon. Punch in the face. Accelerate your healing. Please just poison spray some more. There we go. I keep saying poison spray instead of poison breath. Poison spray is a TND spell. Shot weapon, Trask in the face. 
by a missile, I'm dead. Not weapon. Trask in the face. Out of curiosity. Are you dead if I do this? So you gotta be close. No. Although I'm still alive. Just had to try. Yes, poison breath. Yes, please. Keep trying that poison breath. It'll work one of these times, I swear. Shot weapon trask in the face. Get punched. Accelerate. Heal berry self. Just looking at the captions. It's... Very silly. Apparently that was a Celery Hellberry. Or Hillberry, excuse me. Celery Hillberries. To the face again. Getting a little concerned. I'm not quite at the eyebrow furrow yet, but I'm using so many of my healing items. Poison Breath, thank you! Punch in the face. I have used almost half of my healing items. Did I have 29 or did I have 20 something else? By a missile, I'm dead. And there's no reason for me to go after the crystal, by the way, because I'm not gaining XP anyway. And this battle is going to take forever as it is. Although, if I took out the crystal, I wouldn't have the bio-missile problem anymore, but... Eh. Poison Breath. Sweet. Save. I'm so glad I mapped a save state button to this stick right here. It's also where fast forward is coming from and so on. I mean, I do occasionally hit it, but still. Okay, this is my time to check to see if I can kill you with that hit. Yep, you're dead. I did it, I defeated Trask without leveling. No, I didn't. Force access acquired. <laughs> it's finished! We finally did it! We finally defeated Trask too! Holy crap! <sighs> no, that's wrong. It's only started. My strength is disappearing. Achievement unlocked. Force access. And. Collapse? No. Ashley, what the heck happened? Must mean this guy was chosen by arms. It's not just about power, it's about shouldering some burden. If that's not the case, I want to be able to overcome the battles I'm about to face. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, from now on... No idea. I was most impressed by your actions on behalf of Helmets. By the way, Ashley. Yes, your highness. Are you sufficiently recovered? There are reports that you suffered injury at your recent action. Thank you very much for asking, your highness, but it was nothing. 
just selling my immortal soul to the thing that's going to destroy the universe. You know, it's perfectly fine. I'm very pleased to hear it. We can't have anything untoward happen to you while protecting our Sylvia land. Or Silva land, can we? I keep wanting to say Sylvia land, because that's the way I initially read it way back. <coughs> this couldn't be. I give you permission to use the live reflectors in Silva land. This is a royal letter to the King of Maria Bull to that effect. Hope I can entrust you with it. Your Highness, thank you! This time, it is I who should thank you. Isn't that so, Sir Valeria? Irving is an asshole. I thank you for cooperation of Silverland. It will ease our labors. Irving. Sorry to have you involved. Uh, sorry to have involved you in this unpleasant affair. Let us end here. If you go down below the castle, I believe some you'll find someone waiting for you. Thank you, your highness. Go ahead, I'll see you later. Formalities for granting you permission to use the live reflectors may take some time. I understand, we will wait. Well, I hope you don't mind waiting for the official papers to be drawn up. I guess we have too much red tape around here. We can learn some things from you, it seems. Warning light, warning light, warning light. Bow, walk away. All right, we need to get to a damn save point so we can stop playing for a bit. Which I believe there is a memory service right here. There is not. Confirm, but I've heard that there's a secret room somewhere in this castle. One should be able to find it with judicious visual checks. Visual check! Okay! It's all about the visual check. Oh! We were waiting for you! That's funny. They look like normal people to me. But they're the heroes who saved us. They're more powerful than they look. Other than Ashley. Ashley is a complete and utter weakling. Heroes? Us? Of course. Is there anyone else around? I heard you were magnificent. I have a single son who's about your age, miss. You aren't single, are you? Oh, wow, you're pretty scary looking. I'm glad you're on our side. I remember that a mysterious black knight appeared. Did you see it? Uh, just, just wait a second. I'm so glad that you're all safe. There's nothing more arms could have hoped for. You are a great aid to us in a dangerous time. I trust you will continue to fight the terrorists. Oh, but of course. There is no one but arms to stand up against Odessa. Irving's an asshole. But we are the heroes of helmets, apparently. More cutscenes. Dang, this video is going to run long. Ah, this got reports in. Did Judica succeed? No, he has failed. Restoring the arms isn't so simple. Appears not a single person was killed. Our casualty list reports Trask, the anti-human monster, as demolished. Trask was... Impossible! It's impossible! Their power can't compete! How did it happen? Yes. According to the report, a grotesque black knight appeared in a flash. A high-level energy source registered at the battle location at that time. A grotesque black knight? So he's the trump card of for arms. Or was he? What do you wish for us to do? We can't let it go. With our operating funds, secure the energy for the Heimdall Gazo. Then there's the arms gaining influence. <sighs> We've got problems. The secret evil society is so terrible. <laughs> 
You must be joking. With Kana's demon summoning, our forces can grow forever. Our victory is certain if we exert excuse me, pressure at once with our uh, all at once with our superior power. I've always gotten everything I've ever wanted. Power, you, and Vilgaia are all mine. You'll notice a bit of misogyny there. Put a pin in that. Because Antonura doesn't seem to like that. You have new orders. Execute Operation Guardian as planned and put a rush on getting a hold of that boy. Tonight, I want you here with me. Yes. Please just let me save. <laughs> Three days later. Hey, are you back for good? Or are you on leave? Just on leave. I have to go back soon. I knew it. Hey, don't look so depressed. I'm proud of what I'm doing. Marina, I want to tell you all about what we've done. All of our heroic deeds. Then you won't have time for any, any time for rest. Hey, Marina, look. I just have to tell you, I don't need much rest anymore anyway. Oh, uh, very well. So much to tell. I don't know where to start. We've been going, we've been through so much. We've seen and done so many things. It hasn't been easy, but the feeling that you get when you save someone is priceless. Just the other day, people were calling me a hero. Hero? Yeah, hero. Just what I've always wanted to be. Of course, I had help. I didn't act alone. But they called me the hero who fought against Odissa. Or when they called me the hero who fought against Odissa, felt good. Uh, people expect a lot, and that gives me the strength to go on. Feel like I feel I have to be the hero who dispels people's fears. The hero who saves the world. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Marina? Is what you're describing really a hero, Ashley? It doesn't sound like one. Sure, some horrible things are happening in Vilgaia. But does that mean that Ashley, the hero, has to do something about it? It's just a he Is a hero just someone who is sacrificed for others who can't solve their own problems? This is the thesis statement of Wild Arms 2. What is a hero? Do we need heroes? Or is a hero... Just someone who is sacrificed for others who can't solve their own problems. Think about what we know about the lore so far of Wild Arms 2, about the Sword Magus, who is declared a hero. Did she sacrifice herself just because of some others who couldn't solve their own problems? By naming you their hero, does everyone else just shirk their own duties and stop trying? If hero is just a euphemism for sacrifice, then no. I'm not happy about it all, at all. Especially when the hero is someone who I care for. Now, wait a minute, Marina. I... I thought the stone would keep us together over the distance. I thought my feelings for you would bridge the emotional gap between us. But the reality is that you're an RPG protagonist that has absolutely no maturity whatsoever. I mean, we hardly ever see each other. Now that you're always away think of you more than before and yet i feel further away from you than ever tell me are you still ashley are you still the ashley i know tell me i can't take this anxiety anymore remember ashley's mighty morphing power ashley is he still ashley Rina, i i I understand, Ashley. I know you're Ashley. I know, but I torment you because of my own insecurity. I'm horrible. 
no, I'm the horrible one. There's something I have to tell you, but I can't find the right words. Something that'll only make your anxiety worse. Forget about it for now, Ashley. Just get some rest. I'm overheating. Hey, Ashley, are you paying any attention? Oh, sorry, I was just daydreaming. Uh, still feeling the effects. Now I'm just tired, that's all. Sorry, would you please explain our mission once more? Well, before that, you did help us back at Golgotha Prison. Oh, we also met in Damson City, do you remember? I'm offended. I can't believe you would miss my entrance. I, the behind-the-scenes ruler of all. Marivel is an authority on lost tech... I'm sorry. Marivel's an authority on lost technology. Ever since we became acquainted through correspondence, she has been deeply involved in arms. Really? Correspondence? Uh, I guess some people like those things, especially rich folk. Oh, I remember you as a little bit more reliable, though. Will you finally realize that you're the Black Knight Nightblazer? Nightblazer? Why is it all one word? What tr you transformed into during the incident? The Black Knight who wields fiery destruction. It's what you have been christened, Marivel. It's what Marivel has christened is what it's supposed to be. Well, I heard from Irving that you are the sole survivor of Dessa's demon summoning ritual, aren't you? The demon who possesses you and the lost guardian blade, Arketlam, have met. These two powers joined within you and came to a balance, neither attaining supremacy. The holy power and the demonic combined with your own soul to become Nightblazer. That's another you, you see. Nightblazer, another me? Oh, I won't worry about it now. You seem to have good control over Arkathlam. Right now, you should concern yourself only with the current threat, Odessa. I've been wondering, but do you know me? You really act like you keep knowing me. You knew my name before I did. You seem to speak like you do. Uh, don't you think it's rude to pry to a girl's secrets? Uh... I'm leaving Merivale in charge of your health. We have no idea what we should do, so we'll just have to believe her for now. There are many things we don't know, Ashley. I wouldn't tell anyone if I were you. I understand. Well, if that's settled, then I'll tell you about your mission. Our mission? Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry, tell me about it again. I'm telling you it's the lost technology! Those of Vermin are trampling us in Filgaia with lost technology. So the next mission is to counter their flying machine, Varkuhius. Varukius, there we go. That was how I pronounced it. Right! In order to take it on, we need a fighting power equal or superior to theirs. Now do you see? This is where we come in! We must use our knowledge to bring back the newest and strongest lost technology. It's already lost. How could it be new? I don't think we should leave this up to you-know-who. Hey, you two, stop whispering over there! Well, that's the story. There are two types of energy crystals we must obtain. Agrulite and Germatron. With the energy of these crystals, we can power the Emma motor. Wild Arms 1 reference number 2. Lost technology you're talking about, it's a flying machine? Remember the Gemini crystals? Remember the Emma machine? It's bad. Don't want to spoil a prize, do I? I know what to do. But where do we find these crystals? Agulite crystal is mined near the town of Holst. A few Germaton crystals are supposed to be left in the shut down Rayline Observatory. I have to see them with my own eyes, though. The town of Holst and the Rayline Observatory are in Silverland. 
Thus, we can use the live reflector to transport there. I don't care which you get first, but we need those crystals. More pictures of Spider-Man. And Grigious affront to us, who the world. I'll take down. I'll take those Odessa scoundrels down a peg or two. Note the way she's referring to things as those of us who rule the world. Still haven't gotten the crystals? You gotta get cracking. Always be useful, but you humans get old and decrepit before you know it. She's not human. So what is she? There's been a few hints as to what she actually is. Oh, the Chateau staff will know where the town of Holst and the Railan Observatory are. Sorry, but please ask them. I'm far too important to answer questions like that one. Which means we can finally get to a damn save point. Memory service, save me. Save me. Maybe I should just continue playing for another half an hour and make this a double long episode. I don't know. I already have to do editing on this episode too. And I uh, guess this is just going to be a long episode. Goodbye, Tabak Village. Hello once more, the Valeria Chateau. And goodbye, Internet. I will see you next time. Uh, it'll just be after I get some more things to drink for me and significantly longer for you. Like, two days longer. Bye! Alright, where's my mouse? I need to be able to hit the stop button. Why are you... There we go. Bye! <laughs>